What's up, everybody? This is Brian. And I'm Logan. And this is Pops. Oh, I look good. <laughs> and we're Crash Cards. Hi, team. How you doing? Happy Monday, my beautiful little baby babes. So we asked you guys last week what you guys wanted to see specifically this week. And today, you guys voted for a brand new dinosaur deck update and for like a combo tutorial test hand kind of walkthrough. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go through the profile relatively quickly and just go through what we changed. If you want to see like the main explanation of the main cards, it's in the profile that we put up last week. We will link that at the end screen too, or it's also on the channel if you guys just want to go look for that. But this is the updated version. This does have some changes to it. So make sure you stick around and watch this version of the profile and then we will be doing a combo tutorial and some test hands to show you guys what exactly this deck can do and what variations of an end board it can have. But before we get into that, we do want to ask you guys, if you are not already a subscriber or if you are new to the channel, feel free and go down, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you guys get access to all the videos that we upload as soon as we do. We also down in the description box have our Instagram, which is at CrushCardsYGO. We are on there all of the time we're posting stories new photos just updates of what we're doing and then we also have a really wholesome discord it's really growing really fast and it's a lot of fun we photoshop tops on the things we talk about books we talk about anime it's discord it's really fun we're in there all the time and then last but not least if you want to further support the channel we have a patreon it's pretty great we have some of the best benefits in the Yu-Gi-Oh community and we have bloopers going up soon and we also have access to the side deck for every single deck so if you guys want to see the entire side deck for every single deck and for this deck specifically, feel free to go down and check out the Patreon link. You do not have to be in any specific tier. You literally just have to be a Patreon member. The side deck for every single deck that we've uploaded in the last month is up. So feel free to go check that out also. But if not, that's totally okay. We're just happy you're here with us right now, you beautiful little deer. Also, this is the first major video we're filming with the new camera. So if it looks a little nicer, it's the new camera. Yeah, so it nice. is. A little cleaner, a little sharper, a little crispier. It's real nice. All right, let's just get into the update real quick. For the main deck, we are still choosing to play double copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. This card is absolutely insane. We did drop the Quat list because it is a terrible, terrible card to open. It's a terrible card to draw. It's just really, honestly, not necessary in the deck, but we are still choosing to play the one Dino Wrestler Pancrotop. Probably your best starter in the deck. Still triple Oviraptor. Ooh. Still triple Miscellaneosaurus. Still the triple Baby Sarasaurus. Are choosing to play two Petite Pteranodon still. I honestly tested this card at three and I liked it, but you do brick on babies a lot. So dropped it back down to the double Petite, which is what it was at before in the original profile. Double copies of Animador and Archosaur. The one Giant Rex and then the one Giraffe Aolo. That wraps it up for your dinosaur lineup. Moving in into our like kind of extender-ish combo cards. The one barrier statue with the storm winds, the one O Lion, and then the one artifact scythe. Now, the only thing that we have changed monster wise besides dropping the quat list is we are main decking two copies of Cockle Doodle Doo. Aww. Little chicken. This is a card that we have been testing in almost every single deck, and especially with Needle Fiber in the format right now, this card just special summons itself going first or going second. It's really, really good. We honestly wanted to play a third copy, but you don't really need it. If you have it, you have it, and if you don't, you don't need it. It's just free extender going first or second. And then, of course, Triple Ash. That's it for the monster lineup. No feet, by the way. <laughs> there are no feet here. We are playing triple copies of Lost World still, no terraforming. Triple copies of Fossil Dig because it searches basically any of these except for <laughs> Conductor and Pank. Triple copies of Dark Ruler No More because you do not want to lose going second. We are playing the double copies of Double Evolution Pill and then our one ofs Monster Reborn, Foolish Burial, and a 39 card deck at Upstart. So this is the updated profile. Let's get straight into the extra deck. And then for the extra deck, we are still playing the one copy of Link Ross. It's part of the combo. The one Link Karibo, really, really strong, really good to just get in your graveyard and have non dinosaurs for your Double Evolution Pill. Obviously, we're playing. Needle Fiber. We're playing Penistag, Reprodocus, still the Artifact Dagda. We are playing the one IP Mascarena still, the Unicorn, and our Samorg Link because it allows us to get into our Barrier Statue combo. And then we did switch up Access Code Talker for Appaloosa. In testing, found out that you don't really need Access Code Talker. It's a really, really good card, really strong. Obviously, it allows you to just OTK your opponent with ease, but this deck does that like kind of easily and on its own anyway, so this allows you to go first and just set up so many more interruptions. And then moving on to our non-links, we do play still the one Metal Marcher, 
two Herald, and then the one Abyss Dweller, and the one Tornado Dragon, and then the rest of the extra deck is just tokens. That's all it is. And that's it. Let's just go right into the combo. So we are going to shuffle real quick, and then just allow these cards to get nice and mixed up after they've been profiled out. A couple one of these. And then we are going to allow our opponent to cut, and then of course we are going to roll the dice as like interactions and interruptions to see if our opponent gives us or denies us our actual card effects. At least you can't brick on Koalas now, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we are going to attempt to go first. <laughs> see an OV. Ooh! Baby, good. Pank. And a miss! Wow, okay, so realistically this deck only needs two cards in hand, which is miss and any baby, or like any way to get to either of those two cards. So, without further ado, let's get into test hand number one. So to start off, we are going to activate our miss in hand, and then if this does resolve, we basically get to play for free for the rest of our turn. So, with that being said, we are going to activate the Miscellanesaurus and banish it, and we are going to special our Animadorn Archosaur. Now we can activate the Archosaur to pop the baby in our hand to search a double evolution pill. And then because the baby was popped, we will special summon another copy of Baby Sarasaurus directly from our deck. Now we can normal summon our Soul Eating Oviraptor and activate the effect. We could search a giant Rex directly from our deck to our hand. And now we can activate Ovi's secondary effect to pop the baby targeting the other baby. So they basically just swap. And then because this baby was popped, we summon our Jirak Aolo directly from the deck. So this is now our setup. We have four monsters on board, four cards in hand. It stinks that we drew the actual O-Lion, but that doesn't really matter. And a play that's really safe is linking into the Link Karibo first, because if your opponent does have like a Nibiru, even though these cards are unaffected and you do have like the Needle Fiber play, this still allows you to get that non-dinosaur monster in your graveyard regardless, just depending on what other interactions they have. So next, we can link two into our Kristron Needle Fiber, activating its effect special summoning the O-Lion directly from our hand. It would be from the deck if we didn't draw it, but we unfortunately did, not a huge deal. Now we can just turn our Needle Fiber into a Link Cross, and then Link Cross will activate, summoning one, and then two, level one like tokens. So this is probably the most fragile spot in the entire combo, because if your opponent does have something like an Nibiru, they can clear four cards, which isn't like super huge because you did search a giant Rex. This is still gonna stay on the field along with the baby, and you do have the double evolution pill, so you can still activate this if they are able to like Nibiru you here, banish the Rex, and then banish like a Link Karibo or the Christian Needle Fiber in your graveyard, still get an ultimate conductor. You'll have the Rex to special summon out. You could still get into an overlay, in rank four play, and then you still have the baby Sarasaurus to pop on your opponent's turn to still plus another card. So you still have tons of recovery, even if they Nibiru you here. We'll then Synchro Summon here, using our two and our one into our Martial Metal Marcher, and then Marcher will activate Special Summoning right back to the field, the O-Lion, and now we have a three tuner and a one which we can sink into our first Herald. Now we have an Omni Negate, so we're like a little bit safer now. We have a two tuner and another level two monster, so we can Synchro Summon again into our second Herald, and then the O-Line will activate Special Summoning a level three token. So this specific spot in the combo, there are many, many routes that this deck can go. As we said in the first actual profile, you can either lock your opponent out of their extra deck with like a Scythe Lock, or you can deny your opponent graveyard access. It really just depends on the matchup. You probably don't know game one what they're gonna play, so it's really up to personal preference. What do you think is better? I mean, most decks go into their extra deck, so it would probably be smarter to lock them out of it because then they just can't play, and that's pretty much the goal of most going first boards at this point, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, all right, so we will link two into our artifact Dagda. We can then set our double evolution pill, activate the double evolution pill, and then chain the Dagda setting an artifact scythe directly from our deck and then the double evolution pill we will just banish the rex and the link cross special summoning we play around mech knights <laughs> an ultimate conductor tyranno directly from our deck and then at resolution giant rex will special summon itself and of course right here we can make our tornado dragon and this could be our first end board we have an ultimate conductor a dagda which can be the card in which we pop off of conductor we also have a tornado dragon to pop the scythe and then we have two herald of the arc lights with the pancratops in hand 
just in case they find a way to completely obliterate our entire board. I mean, if we're going first for dinos, this isn't very bad, I would say. <laughs> I mean, it's a going second deck, so this feels pretty nice. And I mean, I guess, unfortunately, the whole goal of most going first boards is to just not let the opponent play, which isn't exactly a fun point of view, Yoda, to be in, and we're not proud of it. But I mean, the fact that dinosaurs can do this going first when it's notoriously going second deck and like just lock your opponent of the extra deck in their standby, like that just feels terrible. Yeah. That's insane. Like, and this is just one board it can end on. This isn't even like mm -hmm. it. Like, this is just whatever your hand is. <laughs> and then just so you know, another really cool interaction with Artifact Dagda. It says that if this Link Summon card is destroyed, you can special summon one Artifact Monster from your graveyard and defense position. So, a really fun interaction, <laughs> not really fun for your opponent, but fun for you, is in your opponent's draw phase, you can detach, I always detach the Rex, for the Tornado Dragon, and then pop the Scythe. So now, on your opponent's turn, whenever they basically summon anything, you can just activate Conductor to pop the Scythe and then flip everything. You also have two Omni Negates still, and then in your turn, it doesn't really matter what you draw. Oh my god, that's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Nah. Yeah, you, I mean like this is game anyways, but like you can if your opponent does happen to stop you on your opponent's following turn If they live that long you can activate conductor again popping the Dagda Which will special the scythe again locking them out of their extra deck for two turns But let's be honest. They don't really make it that far. So that being said that is test hand number one Let's go straight into test hand number two So let's say our opponent lost game one obviously they couldn't break that board So they are a combo deck they want to go first so we are gonna opt to go second We are not gonna side but if you do want to see the side deck that is on patreon so we're just gonna shuffle real quick and show it going second hand all right you want to cut a pony I mean you just saw it going first so I mean let's just imagine let's extend our belief and just see what can happen going second so that being said we're going to draw six cards oh <laughs> One of. I don't understand. I swear to God, now that he's a one, you see him constantly. Even. Oh my God. Wow. This isn't even fair. This is ridiculous. Like, dead serious, guys? We're just filming these, like, right after another? Like, this is just what what's happening. Like, this deck is nuts. So, we are going to go second and draw. Oh my. <laughs> Do we need to play this out? Like, uh, honestly? Like, the only thing that really sucks is that Cockadoodle Doo and Pank kind of conflict with one another. Well, I mean, let's pick some routes here. So, we are just going to special summon our good old boy Pankratops going first. You want to roll a dice, see if our opponent has a response to the summon? We'll say. Summon? I mean, what are they going to do to Pank? Judgment it? Who's going to judgment Pankratops? Alright, let's just. Uh, sure, let's let's imagine that for some reason they have a judgment set for your pancratops. <laughs> we'll roll one through three, they for some reason get they just get the pank off the board. Four through six We're free. They don't. Wow. They don't. To the surprise of no one, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so we're gonna fossil dig here. I mean sure. is is this gonna get ash? Let's roll. Uh, one through three, they don't ash it. Four through six, feet. They do. Nah, All right. Four fossil dig. That is more than okay here. We're gonna attempt to activate foolish burial. I mean, they already used an ash, so like. I mean, yeah, they're not. We, we, we use the ash. You can only use her once per turn. Maybe they have a savage though. Do they have a savage? Let's bait a savage. Odds they have a savage. Even they do not, and we're good. We're good. All right, there it is. What a foolish burial of Rex. Amazing. You don't know where that's going. All right. Next, we are going to normal summon our soul leading Obi Raptor, activate the effect. I mean, what are we rolling for? All right. Uh, <laughs> one through three, Obi can't go through for some reason unknown. Four through six, he's he's good to go. He's a good boy. Amazing. Wow. Obi's fine. All right. Looks like we're gonna search. Search a misc. That's pretty unfortunate for our opponent. Oh wow, guys, look, it's baby misc combo. <laughs> that didn't take much. Wow. Okay, so uh, now this is really the last point of interaction that our opponent has. So we are going to miscellaneous source. If they do not have anything to stop it, which are we going to see? Does it matter? Uh, for the love of God, we'll roll. Uh, <laughs> one through three, they have nothing to stop miscellaneous source. Four through six, they still have something to interrupt with. Wow, miss survives. Right. Amazing. We're going to activate the misc. Bam, there it is, friends. 
We'll special summon our Animadorna Arcosaur, and then while we have the deck in our hand, we're just gonna activate. It doesn't matter at this point. We've baited like four negates. Yeah, we well, will... they're dinosaurs. You can't do anything now because Miss mm -hmm. went through, so. <laughs> True. So we're gonna pop the baby to search a double Evo, and then the baby will activate. So at this specific spot in the combo, if you didn't already have the Pankratops, you would definitely search this, but I mean, it was the first card we drew, Ridiculous. so baby pop is gonna special baby, and then the typical shenanigans. Uh, Ovi's gonna target baby, pop baby, target pop the other baby. baby. If you guys didn't see, we streamed the other day, as in yesterday, and Kraus was cool enough to do a pop the baby little art while we were streaming, and it's actually really funny. We'll throw it up on the screen. Thanks, Kraus. We love you, dude. Ridiculously talented. Love ya. Off the baby pop, we're just gonna special another misc. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point because we already have game here. So we are going to link our Animador and Archosaur. Into our Link Karibo, we do not even need the Needle Fiber combo. It does not matter whatsoever. We can now Link 2 into a Penistag. Obviously, you guys know where this is going. We could activate our Double Evolution Pill, banishing a non-dinosaur, and oh my god, a dinosaur. Guess what? We will Special Summon an Ultimate Conductor under the Penistag Arrow to deal piercing battle damage, and it gets to attack everything, and then at Resolution, Rex summons itself. Doesn't well. really matter because you can't attack directly. But like, let's say maybe they have like a back row or something. They're both the same stats. So we can just overlay here for a tornado dragon. Activate the tornado dragon. Doesn't really matter. And then you could attempt to activate the conductor. Pop something and that's it. Like you're just going to attack every single thing that your opponent has. And it's going to inflict piercing battle damage because this flipped them. And then you have a pank and a tornado dragon still. And at any point in the combo, you had pankratops to disrupt your opponent regardless. Regardless. So it doesn't really matter going second you still have this ridiculous board and it played through like two to three interruption Yeah, that's what fossil dig negated eating an ash like it's it's pretty good And if you have a different build and you happen to be playing Lagia or Dolka, you can always go into those Those are more than welcome choices. This is just what we have in our extra deck So yeah, even with interruptions this deck does a-okay. So that was test hand number two that was going second Let's do another one. This deck does want to go first, so we are just going to opt to go first on our next test hand. All right, we will shuffle one more time and then offer our opponent the final cut. I think it's wild that this deck can go first or second now. It's We're living in really weird times. 2020 is whack. Let me know if you agree in the comments. And then our first... Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's we're really good. We're playing Ash. I didn't even know that. Yeah, playing three. Wow, I mean, you literally opened full combo again. It's pretty crazy. Let us, uh, let's play our Fossil Dig and then play the game. Does Fossil Dig get ashed? Well, let's go. Odds, it gets ashed. Evens, it survives. We get to dig. Evens, we get to dig. Wow, that sucks. Amazing. For the opponent. Guess what we're going to search? <laughs> Wild. Oh man, this is interesting. This is realistically like unfair. All right, so we are going to activate the misc in our hand and then uh, search. We're gonna obviously banish the misc and then search, grabbing our cute little boy and my bedazzled boy. Now, as we said before, you already have a copy of Double Evolution Pill, but your opponent doesn't know that. So we are gonna activate the Archosaur, popping the baby, searching another Double Evolution Pill, and then because baby was popped. We can special summon our Ovi Raptor, and then on summon Ovi will add another copy of Baby Sarasaurus from our deck to our hand. Now we can just normal summon the baby, and then Ovi will pop the baby targeting the other baby. They will swippy swap. Wow. Whoops. <laughs> and then the baby pop will special. Cute little tuner boy. Very expensive tuner boy now. Yeah, actually it is. Wild. Same route as last time, we can just link the one into our Link Karibo. Now once again, you don't have to do this step, but it is something that we just try to do just as like a safeguard if anything happens throughout the combo. But if that's the case and it doesn't, we will just go, ooh. And then we're gonna Link into our Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber will activate. Ooh, do they have an Ash? Sure, let's see if they have an Ash. I was gonna say who's playing Ash, but we are. <laughs> it's right there. Um, forehead though, don't play the feet. All right, one through three, they have a forehead. Four through six, we're making soup. Amazing, we're making soup. Go on, Noodle. <laughs> Fire is gonna summon the old lion. Same as before. Here we go. Make our link cross. Link cross will activate, getting us two little tokens. 
Perfect. Still four cards in hand, really, really good, and like three really good cards in hand still. Yeah, like, yeah, it that is crazy. Of course, same lines of play. We're gonna Synchro Soka, and then Marcher. Special's back, a Tuner. Wow. Same thing. Three, one, into our Herald. Same thing again. We can make a two and a two to another Herald, and then this will activate, getting us the token. Now, it's really important that you leave these zones open for the demonstration that we're about to show. So, what we can do now is we can link our Link Cross and our Ovi Raptor into a Reprodocus, and then Reprodocus will activate, making this token a winged beast. Oh, you guys hear that? Oh, oh! It's a bird. That was a terrible bird noise. That's a bird. That's what. That's the noise that Samord makes. Always check your graveyard just to make sure you guys didn't miss anything. Uh, we actually are a okay right here. We can activate our double evolution pill, banishing our Reprodocus and a Metal Marsher. Special summoning our ultimate conductor Tyranno. Oh hey bud, I honestly forgot about you for a minute. And now we can proceed to our end phase where the Samord Link will activate. Uh oh, you smell that? Smells like a statue. We're gonna special summon our barrier statue of the storm wind. So for any of you guys who are not aware of this card. Oh boy, we got some news for you. <laughs> the barrier statue card reads that neither player can special summon monsters except for wind monsters. So yeah. The harpy ladies go off. Yeah, good luck with that. And then the reason that we do place all of our monsters in defense position is because it, that's a fact. And we don't want to lose our only form of protection, which is our ultimate conductor, Tyranno. So if our opponent does normal summon anything, <laughs> this is only a thousand defense. So what we can do is we can activate the conductor to pop any card on the field to flip their normal summon. They can't special, but even if they have a negate or a response to conductor, we have double Omni negates with Herald, so we guarantee that this card stays on the field. Crazy. You literally built a barrier with your barrier statue. Wow. Wow. And then, the and then look at your hand. Just look at that. That's insane. And then the worst part about this entire combo is that you will draw for turn. Oh my god. It doesn't even matter that you can't special summon this because what we can do now is we can place all of our friends into attack position. <laughs> and then because we control two level fours, this is a win that only locks you into wins. But if you want to like specially kill your opponent. Wow. Guess what? It's a win. We play a main extra deck out to our own barrier statue lock, so you can play the wind, you can play the tornado dragon, and completely just bypass the lock. Appaloosa is also a wind. True. So now what we can do is we can activate our double evolution pill again, banish an O lion and a baby, special a second ultimate conductor I Tyrano. Mean, yeah, it seems pretty lethal, folks. I don't know about you. Yeah, I mean, you don't even need to link away into Pentastag. Like, this is pretty darn good. Ouch. Well, this deck is nuts. Like, I don't know how to emphasize how good this deck is. Like, we are not the type of people to say this is the best of anything, but. Damn, Yeah. this is a good deck. This deck is really strong. And even once again, even if your opponent has like outs to any of this stuff, not only do you have the interruption with Ash, but you have a Pankratops follow up if they clear your board or if they're able to set up something like Somehow. ridiculous, you still have the Dark Ruler no more, which is just like absolutely bonkers. Yeah, like this deck is just so, like there's so much synergy and so much strength with like, it's, I, I, I don't know team, Dinosaurs are really good. I don't want to say Dino's best deck, but let me know in the comments. Dino's best deck, question mark? Yeah, like for a rogue deck, this is or like a tier 1.5 deck. This is a huge sleeper contendant at the moment. I mean, I think it's starting to creep up. But yeah, dinosaurs, man, they're coming back from extinction. I would argue that they're, they're more powerful than ever. We let's, ro let's roll. We roll uh, odds, we do another test hand. Evens, we don't. Guess we gotta do a test hand. <laughs> Thanks, team. That was you liking the video. I know, thank you. We will do one more test hand. As we said, this deck does want to go first. You did see how this deck can go second with absolutely no problem, and that was not sided. So once again, side deck in the Patreon, but we attempted to go first with this deck, so we will do one more test hand and just show a different end board that this deck can have. Yeah, we just wanna show all the variety that this deck can actually provide. All right, a pony. Nay, I mean roar. I don't, I don't know. Pony dinosaurs. It's a lot. Draw our first five. Oh, hey, girl. Uh oh. Well, it looks like we're going second. Uh oh. Oh my Is this god. The same hand? 
that is just like dumb I'm sorry. strong. Are, was that the same hand we drew? No, I think the first hand didn't have ash. No, it did. Did it really? Well, it turns out this hand's really darn good, even though we have a going second card. I mean, baby, anything is great. <laughs> Let's do it, team. All right, first thing we're going to do, obviously, bait this stupid ash. We are going to activate Fossil Dig. He just wants it to get ash, so we're just going to say it's ash. One through five, it gets ash. Six, it doesn't. <laughs> to help him out there because he was like, I wanted to get ashed, and well, it turns out luck was on my side. Man, Logan's just Man. blessed. Alright, so we are going to search our good old boy Misk, and at this point, my friends, it's normal over. summon Ovi. Do they have ash? It doesn't matter. Misk, chain. <laughs> they have ash. Let's just say they have it. Bye-bye, Misk. No. Sorry. Effect. Wow. Sorry, Dice. I was going to roll you, but I guess not. Search our good old boy Rexy Rudel. Shuffle. Not that it matters because we're going to go right back in Banish the misc. Special Archosaur. Archosaur effect. Pop a little baby. Search the double evolution pill, and then because the baby was popped, we will special another baby. Woo! And now, of course, same old thing. OB target, oh, baby pop, baby, all the, you know, baby shenanigans. Pop all the babies. Baby pop. Special summoning everybody's favorite dinosaur tuner. It's our tuner. favorite expensive boy. I know, he's like 14 bucks right now. It's crazy. Oh. Same thing. We're just gonna do the whole combo that you guys just saw. But different. Link Karibo. Needle fiber. All right, one through three, Ash or Imperm. Four through six, Noodle goes off. Amazing, Noodle time. That's ridiculous. Special the O-Lion. And even if you did eat the Ash once again, we did search the double evolution pill. And because we were smart, we put a dinosaur and a non-dinosaur in our graveyard already. So you already have access to Conductor. This is a two, this and this are one. So you really can have like a three material Appaloosa. You can make this IP Mascarena with the Conductor and this, and then just like go off still. So the Ash Imperm doesn't really matter. This is just like super extension. So of course, same combo, Needle Fiber. It comes Link Cross, Link Cross activates. Whoa, gotta clear up our zones here a little bit and get in our tokens. In my <laughs> Me. Sink, march your effect, special back the O Lion, make our favorite, turn that into a Herald. Now we can sink again to another form of interruption, and then of course our O Lion will grab us a token. We can use our token in our OV to make an IP Mascarena. We can activate our double evolution pill, banishing a non-dinosaur, and then we'll use a dinosaur from our hand. Special summoning a conductor from our deck. The Rex will summon itself out, and then we can use one, two, three, four. Apples. Into a three material Appaloosa that did use the IP Mascarena, so it is not able to be destroyed by card effects. We also have a conductor, we have an ash in hand, and we still have two Omni Negates on field. Wow. Pretty strong. Feels pretty good. So this just goes to show a variation of every single hand that you could have, every end board that you could possibly end on, depending on your hands, depending on the cards that you search, depending on the interaction that your opponent has. There are so many different lines of play with this deck. You could play this hand totally different, you could play the other hands totally different. It doesn't really matter, but dinosaurs officially can go first and second now. It's just, it's really, really wonky. Monkey, to end on what? One, two, three, four, five, six forms of interruption. And an ash. <laughs> Seven forms of interruption. I mean, jeez, like is... what do you do? Oh, good luck, opponent. So once again, you can realistically end on any end board that you want, but the reason we prefer the double herald as opposed to like an abyss dweller or like an abyss dweller plus a herald is because if your opponent has two forms of spell trap interaction, you have that covered also. Plus you have the conductor to pop anything that you don't need and three Appaloosa negates. So like really, really busted. And as Logan said, Ash. And if they pay, if they do out this, Dark no more. it's just not fair. And I mean, and then if you somehow don't win through this and you like make it to the next turn and they somehow have, like let's draw for our turn. Wow. Unreal. You I win. mean, okay. <laughs> this deck is so good. Like say it with me in the comments. This deck is so Good. We know a lot of people are playing dinosaurs going second. We also know a lot of people are trying different dinosaur builds. This is probably one of our favorites. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's super duper strong. It plays through so much. It plays against so much. And it also sets up boards that don't allow your opponent to play yeah. at all. Yeah, this deck can really come head to head with pretty much everything in the meta. And again, we don't like saying the word best deck, but this is so strong team. Like this, like, 
this is ridiculous. We're really proud of this build. We really enjoy it and we hope you guys do too. Obviously you can play it in the style that fits you, but we feel really darn good about this right now in this meta, whatever you want to call it. This is it. This is really good. So we hope this was helpful for you. We really tried to tackle every type of hand and some of these cards, you know, are dead cards in your hand, but you know what? You can still combo off with that. Like, it's awesome. It's so cool knowing dinosaurs can do this now. So we hope you guys are excited. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you thought of the test hands in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us a message on here in the comments, in Instagram, Discord, anywhere. We'll answer you. So just let us know. We love knowing what you guys think and we love showing you guys things that we're excited about. That being said, guys, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, throw this video a like, and we will see you in the next video. And don't forget, we love you. You matter. You're perfect thank you for staying with us and tops i believe wants to say bye bye guys hope you like the new camera it's pretty great look how good i look yeah let us know what you think of the camera too it looks it looks pretty darn nice